Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in law and science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limo regarding average post height is using PostBS SQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Facebook or meta interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, given a table of Facebook posts for each user who posted at least twice in 2021, Write a query to find the number of days between each user's first post of the year and the last post of the year in 2021. Output the user and number of days between each user's first and last post. Okay, so basically there is a table called post with four different columns, user ID, post ID, post date, which is a timestamp and post content, like what was the post about, right? So here is an example. So if you see, right, so user ID uh, 15, 16, 52, so in 2021, uh, how many posts there are? Uh, two, right? On 10th of July and 12th of July. So the day, the days between these two posts is two days, right? Similarly, for this user ID 661093, there is uh, again two posts, right? 27, 29th of July and 8th of July, right? So the difference you will calculate again. For this user ID, there is only one post in 2021. So this should be excluded out of it, right? So that is what we have in the output. So basically what we need to do is from this table called post, the first thing that we should do is we should make sure that the post date year is 2021 because we are only concerned about year 2021. And then once we have that, then we can group by the user ID and make sure that number of posts for each user is at least two, right? Because that is what it says, right? At least posted at least twice in 2021. So what I'm saying is from this table called post, let's keep only those rows where, you know, the year, so extract year out of year from post date, and it should be equal to 2021. And then we can group by, because for each of the user ID, we need to calculate the number of days between, right? So group by user ID, and we also need to make sure that who posted at least twice. So how can we filter based on aggregate value? We need to use having clause. So we need to write having, right, count of, and how can you count the different posts? You can count the post ID, right? So count distinct post ID should be greater than or equal to two, right? So this is going to make sure that at least we are only, you know, concerned about people or users who have posted at least twice in 2021, right? So for these cases, return the user ID, right? And then we need to find out the first, the days between first post and the last post of 2021. And we made sure the year is 2021 using this clause, right? So how to find the first row? So basically minimum of this date is the first post of 2021 and maximum of this date is the last post of 2021. So calculate a difference and we can get it right. So what we can do is we can write maximum of, remember this post date is a timestamp, right? So it has an hour, minute, second also attached to it. So if you directly go ahead and subtract these values, so it is going to have days and hours out of it, right? But if you, you know, so like, let me go ahead and do that, right? Let's see, uh, you know, so that, you know, it's more clear. So if I write max of post date minus minimum of post date, right? Minimum of post date. And let me alias this as it should be aliased as days between, right? So days between. Okay. Let me run this. Let's see what we are having, right? So right, if you see, right, so that is what I was talking about. So it has for diff different users, days and hours. Why? Because this is a timestamp, right? These dates are timestamps. So we don't need hours. We only need the days, right? So how to do this is we need to cast this or basically change this timestamp into a date. So how can we do this? We can simply use the cast function. So cast this post date as date right cast this post date as date and then subtract the minimum part again cast this post date as date right so as date and this entire thing should be aliased as days between now let me run this let's see what we are getting right so now you have only the days for each of the user ids so i think this looks good let me go ahead and submit it so if it passes all the test cases 
So yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it. Again, not a very difficult question. All we had to do was, you know, from this table called post, we made sure that the year is 2021 because that is what we are concerned about. Then we group by the user ID because for each user ID, we need to calculate the days between the first post and the last post of 2021. And we also need to make sure that we are only concerned about users who posted at least twice. So we use the having clause, right? And then we, you know, uh, casted the post date as date because in the table, the the post date is a timestamp and if you directly go ahead and subtract the values you are not only going to have the days between but also the hours between and that is not what is required right so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video